Boris Johnson sent a bold threat to Nicola Sturgeon in a speech today as he set out plans to bring the UK together during the pandemic. Boris Johnson used his speech at the Conservative Party conference to threaten Nicola Sturgeon's dreams of having an independent Scotland. The SNP leader announced almost two months ago that she would be releasing a draft bill for second referendum on independence ahead of the Holyrood elections in 2021. But the Prime Minister has attacked her schemes to tear the UK apart. Mr Johnson said, we believe passionately in our wonderful union, our United Kingdom. While the Labour opposition have done frankly nothing to defend the union and continue to flirt with those who would tear our country apart. I say to those separatist Scottish nationalists who would like this country to be distracted and divided by yet more constitutional wrangling. Now is the time to pull together and build back every part of the UK better. We believe in global Britain as a proud and independent outward-looking country and next year we will lead the world at the G7 and the COP26 summit in Glasgow. He added, we have confidence in our value and our diplomacy and be in no doubt that they are scheming to overturn Brexit and take us back into the EU. Responding to the speech, SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford MP said, Boris Johnson has repeatedly shown himself to be arrogant, incompetent, untrustworthy and not up to the job of Prime Minister. This speech did nothing to change that perception. The Prime Minister offered absolutely nothing to the millions of people who stand to lose their jobs, and see their incomes slashed, as a result of Tory cuts to the furlough scheme and the reckless decision to impose an extreme Brexit in the middle of a pandemic. Instead of announcing an immediate U-turn on Tory plans to scrap jobs support at the end of the month, and delivering a meaningful fiscal stimulus of at least £80 billion to boost the economy, the Prime Minister has made a deliberate decision to let unemployment soar. By withdrawing jobs support, blocking the devolution of financial powers, and threatening to impose an extreme Brexit against our will, the Tories are demonstrating that the only way to protect Scotland's interests is to become an independent country.